Welcome to my review and demo of the Jackie Ina Anastasia of Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. Jackie Ina is an internationally recognized American beauty YouTuber and I can only imagine how excited Anastasia of Beverly Hills was to team up with her. I personally love Jackie's videos. I've been watching them for quite some time and I jumped at the chance to purchase her eyeshadow palette. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification notification bell because when you do you'll never miss any of my upcoming videos as you know I'm 36 years old and I need to be very careful with the types of eyeshadows I use I personally love the Anastasia formulas I feel like they really are made with mature skin in mind because they are so buttery and blendable and they're easy to use and they don't age my skin if you have mature skin you'll know exactly what I mean by that so let's just dive right into this palette. The packaging is this uh, snake pattern and it has a real pretty opalescent sheen to it. On the front of it is Jackie's signature as well as Anastasia of Beverly Hills and the palette itself has the same look just a very beautiful opalescent type of sheen to it as I'm moving it around I can see a lot of green reflex it's very cool looking very trendy very funky and so I'm going to open it up now and here are the shadows and just looking at these I feel like these are gonna look amazing with my eyes. I'm just loving all the purples and the cranberries. There's even this beautiful greenish taupey type shade. This also to me is screaming fall vibes, autumnal vibes. There are a total of 14 shades. Some are pressed pigments, some are mattes, and I feel like there can be an endless variety of looks that can be created with this palette. So today I'm going to swatch these colors on my arm and I'm also going to do a very easy to follow tutorial using some of these shades. So let's get started. So the first color we are going to take a look at is this shade Soleil. Wow. Next up, I'm gonna take this color Zam. Oh, that is a beautiful copper. Next we have Supreme. This is a matte shade. And this is a beautiful warm pink. So now we have the shade Wigglies. All right, now we're gonna use the shade Pinker. That has a bit of shimmer in it too. Now we're going to take a look at the shade Shookington. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look at that. What a beautiful purple. <gasps> and big wig. This looks like a more of a, a warm purple to me. This kind of almost reminds me a little bit of that Natasha Denona. And then we're going to look at the shade Trust Issues. I really like that name. <laughs> So many beautiful shades here already. I feel like I could easily use all of these. And let's do the last six. So this is the shade Dwalas. I'm gonna put it right here. So this is gonna be a bit out of order, guys, sorry. So this looks, this is actually also a real nice gold. So you can see how these three look together. And the shade Edges. Put right here on my wrist. And this looks like a warm burnt orange. The shade Credit, I guess I'll try to sneak it here. This is more, wow. This is a very matte looking brown. And the shade Sponsored. This is that green reflex shade I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna put it over here. Oh my goodness. It's a brown with green reflect in it. This reminds me of shade I used to use in college and I just loved it. Okay, now we have the shade 
lituation. If anyone wants to leave comments to let me know what some of these mean, I would really appreciate that. Oh, and this is, you know what this reminds me of? Mac Moth Brown. That is a cult color from a long time ago. I have not seen it again yet. It's a shimmery, beautiful taupe. And finally, the last shade is Ginger. So, and this is like a warm, uh, orangey brown shade. All right, so there are all the shades. I hope you uh, can see them well on your screen. I have to say, guys, I know I just said this. I'm going to say it again. I can't get over how beautiful these shades are. I feel like I could just, I feel like I could just use this palette and nothing else. There's just so much variety and there's so many ways to go. So this shade, this palette doesn't have a black shade in it. The darkest shade is this um, dark brown, which I think is really interesting. And to me, that's just screaming like what I said before, just like that real autumnal vibe to it. So these are the shades. And now let's do a fun little makeup tutorial, something really easy and great for those makeup newbies. And then I'll share my final thoughts with you on this palette, because of course I need to try them on my eyes before I can really give that official review. So I'm going to wash off my arm, come right back and get into that tutorial. Because I kept saying that this palette is just giving me that really warm autumnal feeling, I'm gonna go for a cranberry smoky eye. With that being said, you could create endless looks with this palette, but I'm just really feeling that cranberry look right now, even though I'm wearing summer colors, but you know, what can you do? So I'm taking this shade Ginger and I'm using this as a transition color on my crease. And just like I was saying earlier, this these eyeshadows are so mature skin friendly. I never have to tug on my eyelid when I'm applying the product. If you have mature skin, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. So let me put it on the other eye as well. And I'm just going to blend that through. Now I'm going to take the shade Edges and I'm going to put this all over my eyelid very lightly because these are so incredibly pigmented. And I'm just applying with my finger to get a little bit more control over the amount of color I put onto my lid. And once again, that's just because it is so incredibly pigmented. I feel like this palette is just, it, it's perfect for green eyes. The shades are so complimentary. So now I'm going to go in with this shade Zam. This is such a great shade, oh my goodness. And I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid on top of the edges. I feel like my eyelid looks like a fall leaf. Like a, I'm putting the shade Wigglies in the outer third corner of my eye. I'm also going to put it on my lower lash line. Woo! All right, let me blend this in. I'm gonna take this little blending brush from Sigma that you know I love. This is my little sample that I've been using for years. And I'm gonna just really buff this color into my lower lash line for a beautiful smoky effect. I'm going to take the shade Soleil now, and I'm gonna just put it a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to take the shade Credit, which is the darkest shade in this palette and I'm gonna put just a touch of it at the corner of my eyelid just to give a little bit more definition to this look because I used so many of her of Jackie's shimmery shades so I'm just gonna use the brush that came in this kit and blend out the dark brown shade the shade credit and don't forget to blend underneath the eye as well. 
And lastly, I'm just gonna take this really fluffy Wayne Goss blending brush and I'm going to just go over everything and really just make it very even and blended through. And I'm just going to step off camera and quickly put on a little bit of mascara eyeliner and possibly some false lashes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I put on some Tarte Goddess lashes because this palette has me feeling like a goddess. I am just so in love with this and these colors are just so perfect for me and I love the textures of both the matte shadows and the sparkly pigments. So I have to say, if you can't tell already, I absolutely love this palette. Congratulations, Jackie, on such a fabulous product. I wish you all the success and can't see what you're gonna come up with next. Please make another palette like this with different colors. I would be the first one to buy it. So thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you're thinking about getting this palette or not. If you're on the fence and you have the opportunity to get it, I have to tell you, get it. You will not regret it. It's just full of beautiful colors and endless combinations. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now to Lauren O'Connell Beauty TV and let's navigate together through the world of beauty.